UPF. I played five years of Division I softball at the University of South Florida. And I have assembled this team here with our Camwood Elite coaches. You're going to be able to get the best instruction that there is. We have pitching run by Sam Shaw. Kayla Kolick is our lead for our catching program. And Bailey is the head of our infield program. And all together, we are also going to be doing hitting. I'm specifically going over hitting and slapping and outfield. Here at the Camwood Softball Elite Program, we're going to be providing you the best of the best. And I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Sam Shaw. I was an All-American at Oklahoma State in 2019, and I just finished my fifth year playing professional softball at the Texas Smoke. It was an All-WPF pitcher. Hi guys, my name is Kayla Kowalik. I was a two-time All-American at the University of Kentucky, and I just finished my rookie year, where I was Rookie of the Year, with the UAAA Pride and an All-WPF outfielder. Hi, my name is Bailey Klingler. I am a three-time All-American at the University of Washington. I just finished up my rookie year with the Texas Smoke. I was also all WPS infielder, and I also played for Team USA. In the Camwood Softball Elite subscription, myself and the coaches will be able to provide you instruction as you follow along and progress through our programs. Wow. Imagine what it would be like if we would have had access to this as eight-year-olds and 10-year-olds growing up, to have access to professional athletes like ourselves. Like what, like, like imagine, what that would be like. My little eight-year-old self would have been in a place like this all of the time, all the time, watching constantly mm -hmm. the videos. And also think about it as, I mean, we give lessons, but when we are paying $80 an hour for one-on-one -on -one coaching, when I can get into a subscription paying the same amount and having access to every single coach within 24 hours, being able to direct, being, being able to really just like direct message, like, no matter where you're at. No matter where, okay. or, and like, being able to see video of an athlete and provide that direct feedback is so much, I think it's so much better because then they're doing the homework and they're progressing with it, as opposed to seeing them for an hour and then they see you one or two weeks later and yeah. maybe they didn't, weren't doing it right the whole two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. So, I think it also gives access to like so many kids who like, I'm like, I live in Kentucky, but what if there's a kid in Texas or a kid in Oklahoma or everywhere that, you know, they would like feedback and mm -hmm. they would love to, you know, work through this <clears throat> and it like allows them like the ability to, you know, work with professional athletes who are based all around the country. So. But I would have never met amazing people like you. I mean, obviously we knew each other as we played in college, like you know names and stuff, but getting to meet you all on a deeper level and now work with you to really just like bring a platform that has everything to these young athletes, I think is amazing. Like I, I never thought starting posting me just coaching and doing drills would blow up into where I get to meet Sam Shaw, Bailey Klingler, Kayla Kowalik, like everybody and not even that, just the people that we play like throughout the WPF, like, you know, hanging out with Jocelyn Allen, meeting people and just like, it's a community that we get to now share with our subscribers and they get to actually talk with us, chat with us, send us, hey, does this, you know, does this look good of what you're coaching and what you're teaching and, and providing that feedback to them, I think, you know, you all can touch on that. Like we never had any yeah. access to that. Mm -hmm. No, not at all. But even just like podcasts and different forms of coaching. Um, yeah. Because maybe some, you know, majority of us are visual learners, but maybe it takes more of words and hearing it, or a certain person saying it, just the words that they use, and you have at least four, but we're obviously going to be able to bring more people in, so you can learn from the best of the best and whoever, but um, I'm excited. And our subscribers are going to be able to not only communicate with us within the subscription, but like... You know, we were talking about with Wes, we're going to be doing podcasts, we're going to be doing Camwood events. Um, and so it's almost like, yeah, you've been talking to us through this platform that we have and through our app, but now you're going to be able to come actually interact with us in person and already having, you know, coached you throughout that time. Like now we're creating more of that, um, just that community and that family sense of like we're, we're working together just to all get better, grow the sport of softball develop you as the young athlete and provide you with the best instruction that there is. Um, 
from the best coaches, the best people too. We're good people here. I would all say. Maybe the vibes. The vibes, honestly, like <laughs> true, true, great people that, that I'm working with and that you all get to work with. What was everybody's first thoughts when Anna came to them asking them to work for Camden? I was like, hello? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hello. Oh, yeah, count me in AB. <laughs> AB softball. I've mean, never thought less about incision. I was like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought about it long and hard. I was like, are you going to be my boss? <laughs> Well, you see, you see, I might be Sam Shaw's boss, but she is like my mom that keeps me alive. <laughs> she's the Facebook mom of the group, though. She's the Facebook mom. <laughs> yeah, I'll be better about that. No, <laughs> if you change, I will be so bad. If you start throwing the C word around, <laughs> it won't be good. It won't competitor. be competitor. It's competitor. Cambly. 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 No. It was an easy yes. Like, a third yes. Yeah, easy yes. I would say, I mean, my decision in choosing these crazy ladies, <laughs> um, even though, you know, we have one rival sitting here on the opposite team. Guys. But but we're on the same team right now. <laughs> yeah. The camp, the team of camp. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will say, though, it's really exciting that we all have, like, like we all have a similar personality, but we're all so different. And yeah. like mom, like mom, <laughs> like, like mommy, mom. mom. no, <laughs> mommy, Sam like has a mom vibe about her. Your AB softball, like flowy with the wind. Taylor's like scary and stern. <laughs> no, but like I just feel like we all balance each other so well. So I feel like with that aspect, you can connect to people on a different level, different players, mm -hmm. and deliver things in, in ways that will be receptive. I mean, to build off of that too, I mean, like I chose all you three because, I mean, I mean, you can see it in the way that all of you just did all your programs. So we have passion for what we're doing here. Not only do we have passion for the game, um, we're all old grandmas, 25 years old, 23, 24. 24. It's okay, I turned 24 this month. Yeah. So. I'm scared. Sam, 20, Sam's like 31. Not 31. <laughs> But my main goal of it is that, you know, we've been in their position where yeah. they're, you know, they're in school, they're trying to get their training in. And if you have passion for the game, you can see the way that these coaches coach. And we want you to have that type of like instruction at the tip of your fingers because we didn't have that. And we got to this place of being professional athletes and playing the game right and doing things the right way that now we're giving you more of that easy path that we kind of had to figure out ourselves with you on. And not just softball, like multiple multiple aspects of this game between the strength training part, nutrition, the mental side of the game. Um, I think one thing all of us do really well is being athletes too. Um, we're not just kind of confined to one spot. Um, speed portions and everything. So if you're wanting to take your skills to the next level and keep getting better, I don't think you can be in a better spot to do so. Everyone has their new bats. What do y'all think? So yeah, give me give me your feedback on the Camwood bats, kind of what you guys have loved with using them so far. Any thoughts? One thing that I've been very passionate about while training younger athletes is making sure that we're not just sticking to our bat. And a lot of times with girls, we're swinging drop 10, very light bat. One, we're strong enough to swing a heavier bat and to have a training bat that's gonna feel heavy but not heavy to where you can't control it. Because a lot of times that's the biggest thing is just body control and making sure that you're controlling the bat, the bat's not controlling you. Mm -hmm. um, so having training tools to do that and still be able to have like a repetitive swing, a good swing each time, that's been the biggest thing for me. Yeah, I've always, actually I've always trained with a wood bat, like my pregame in college was, I would swing a wood bat and then- You have that one that you yeah. brought, was it that one? Yeah, and then my, not until like my last rounds, I would swing once with my regular bat, so I've always loved a wood bat, and with the cam wood bat being AB softball's bat, and it being specific to our game, it's been huge, because you know, the only wood bats that I could ever find were baseball, baseball. bats, right? 100%. So, to Sam's point, if the bat would basically swing <laughs> pretty yeah. much but 
Um, my thing was always bad speed. I've never really had a great bad speed. Um, so I loved training in, in that way for that reason. Um, also, I love the fact that it's so beneficial to swing a wood bag because, you know, the sweet spot's smaller, obviously. So you're swinging it and then you get your actual bat and it's just like you're going to town. So um, I've always loved a wood bat, but now that I have this camera bat, it's, it's my go-to. I love it. Mm -hmm. And it comes in cute colors. Yeah, and it's so cute. Let's customize it. Oh my gosh. Miss um, Camwood designed all their colors and I don't they know love who it. Miss Mom. Look at this one. So, okay, so I did my first filming with Cam Wood. I came down, I was in my last semester of nursing school, came down right here, and we filmed the um, All American 30 day, 30 day All American training program. Yep. And so when I came here, Wes and Sherry had surprised me with their first model of the wooden cell fall bats. There were two of them. There was one with the extended knob, and then there was another one that doesn't have an extended knob. And I, love the extended knob just because it has that extra feel of driving those hands inside the ball and moving it forward so when i was swinging this i was like dang like i i love these one not only for the sweet spot of it but they taught me like they're like you just can feel the vibration so you tap on it and then the more you go up you'll feel the vibration and once that vibration stops that's where the sweet spot starts and i was like i've literally never i've never heard that, I've never heard that before yeah. and i thought that was so cool because now when I so I, you're sorry. It's okay. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. <laughs> so basically, the sweet spot on the wood bats are small, and that's why we train with wooden bats um, because we're training the precision of our barrel. So going from hitting with the A and B bat, which has a sweet spot of this, a ball, a ball, correct, yeah. to hitting with our normal game bat, which the sweet spot's bigger. Now you're just having, it's basically less room for error. So you're training that precision of the barrel every time. So when I learned that, I was like, wow, that's so cool. Like now I'm actually learning why I'm using this and how it's beneficial to my game. The purpose. The purpose. Because when you do things without a purpose, here because everyone wants to be here. It's purpose. And like we all have a purpose to be here and, and provide this type of instruction and, and our love for the game to our subscribers. And that's why I'm just over the moon now. What okay. do you like about the bat? Yeah. Everything? First of all, the cup. Look, look how cute this is. Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, designed by AD Software herself. But I think one thing is like, so I'm a slapper and I have always loved training bat speed. But like, one thing I hate about training bat speed is like, so many training bats I've used are end loaded. So I'm training as a slapper to have barrel control, but I can't get my hand speed while using a uh, and loaded. Like, like a sledgehammer type of bat. No, literally. Because I, like, mm -hmm. I just, I love the way that the weight is above the hand, so I get to train heavy, but still keep my barrel control and not feel like I'm losing that. I feel that too. Like, as I'm, when I used to train with heavier bats that, you know, people would put my hands, when I'm going through my slap, slapping motion, it drops my barrel that way. And so we become disconnected. Yeah. Our, and then we're trying to pull with our upper right. half instead of staying connected with the sequence. So. Like, I, like, I feel like I've gotten to a point where I have good barrel control. Like, I would like to work on my bat speed without having to feel like, I that, can't like do I'm it. focusing on my bat speed and my barrel now. So now, like, I get to focus on my hands and my bat speed and getting stronger instead of having to also add the fact that I'm focusing on my barrel control that I think I'm really good mm -hmm. at. I think the biggest thing I noticed with, like, using the hands and speed trainer and slapping is you're able to go game time because you can hit you can hit BP with the with the cam with bats. So kind of correlating it to game time speed of like I'm able to use my hand and speed trainer and go through my slapping footwork. I'm able to do my power slap. I'm able to work on my bounce slap and still train with the heavier piece of working inside the ball. I feel like with any other bat that was weighted, I had to stay in my crossover position, yeah. which yeah, yeah. now when you go to move your feet, you're not really training that bat speed. So we're looking forward to meeting y'all and interacting with y'all. I'm really excited to see how we all progress throughout these programs, and I'm super excited to be able to interact and help you throughout your softball journey. I can't wait to grow again. Let's do this. Camera on three. One, two, three. Camera. <laughs>